Okay, let's see if we can upgrade the memory on this little uh, Prodes. This is an HP. HP, so what I'm gonna try to do is just take advantage of this little thing instead of instead of using that big monster that I have right there. So I am using a high definition uh, adapter for uh, the video output. And uh, at the moment I'm using a uh, an older uh, wireless keyboard and mouse. Two different because this thing doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to open the unit and I'm going to install this uh, four gigabytes uh, stick. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is gonna have to come forward towards the front of the unit, so like so. And then it comes out. You put it to the side. Here is the hard drive. Here is the hard drive connect, uh, connected to the motherboard. So what we are going to do, um, okay, the power. Uh, we are going to have to remove this. Pull out the hard drive because the uh, RAM is located under the uh, hard drive. So there is this tab right here that you have to kind of pull so that you can push the uh, hard drive out. Remove this thing just to make it easier on us. Okay, so here it is. And then we can unplug this from the motherboard. Ouch. Okay. Now I'm going to try to pull this out like so, pull the tab and then we're going to pull it up, like so. So here is the motherboard, there's one slot, four gigabytes. Now let's try to do this. And this is gonna go like so. Insert like that and then push it down, secure it in place. Next, we're gonna put our hard drive back. Don't forget about this stuff, then push it back in place, then back to our connectors. The power. And this was like so. You have to make sure that you kind of line it up properly. There it is. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it, power the unit, and see. Okay, I guess I put this thing back. Just to make sure that we do this properly. Okay. Push it back in place. Push the power button. If there are any issues with the memory, the unit might not start. Oh, it is starting. See, the system memory size is different from the last startup. The most common, okay, press the escape key to start up menu. 
F1 to boot, so we are going to boot and Windows is starting. So the system recognizes the uh, the memory. Now go to computer, right click, right click in computer, and then properties. And right there. Inst installed memory 8 gigabytes. So it's good. You want to uh, refresh your, your uh, Windows experience index. Uh, well, you can do that. It's telling you right there that it needs to be uh, refreshed. Okay. That's about it. Thank you.